Okay. And you don't see that emulating some of his behaviors as a basketball player would also factor into that? I see emulating his belief starting there and then moving your way up. And what I'm saying is, Frank, and it's not that we're – all I'm saying is this, is that a lot of people get – caught up in trying to copy behaviors and they don't try to figure out what's deeper than that. And if you step step into anybody's world and try to copy their behavior only without an understanding of why they're doing something, you're going to miss a key part in modeling and making yourself being able to take on the characteristic in your own holistic way that you can take it on. Um, if you, if you, then if you went a little deeper. Okay. See, I come from the other side of this. I start with the behaviors, and once you experiment with the behaviors, the beliefs will grow from that. And the reason is, it's almost impossible to adopt a brand new belief system if your current belief is very entrenched. It doesn't matter how many times you tell a guy, you know, you got to be confident, you got to feel confident, you got to like yourself, you got to have some self-esteem. If the person really hates themselves, sure, confidence is not a, be a, a belief, though. Confidence is a behavior. There's no, a belief that comes is, from from something deeper than result. that. All right. So that's you my don't... point. So that's that's the well, and that's the thing that you're not you're not trying to emulate someone's confidence. But I'm trying to figure out why is that guy confident? Why is Kobe confident to take the game winning jumper? Well, because he took 500 of the exact same shot in practice. Well, why did he take those 500 shots in practice? Because he wants to make sure that he's comfortable at any situation to play in a game to take a shot, whether it's for the for the game or whether it's the first shot of the quarter, because he wants to because he understands the purity of the game. Ah, OK, so now I'm taking those shots and working on that turnaround fadeaway jumper, not because I want to be like Kobe and work on that turnaround fadeaway jumper, but because I understand that now it might come up in a game and the game might be on the line. And if I'm comfortable taking that shot, it's no big deal taking that shot as opposed to any other shot, because I've taken hundreds and hundreds of them. Which, which is kind of like the chicken before the egg or the egg before the chicken type sure. of thing. Because if the behavior is taking the 500 shots, then the belief comes out of that behavior of the confidence and the, and the inner knowing that you can make that shot because you've, you've created the behavior. So I think the sort of the point is that you need to model behaviors, the positive ones, as well as the beliefs and as well as the actual physical actions of those behaviors in order to fully, you know, fully take on something new into your persona. Uh, the only thing I could add to that is whether you start with a belief and you can experiment with it, I, I think more people struggle with that. But if you're able to do that, then you're already a little bit more advanced. Oh, for sure, who, without a doubt. Yeah, there are some people who need to do the behavior first, and from the, the behaviors, adopting the behaviors, even if they don't believe in it, new beliefs can stem from that. Absolutely. It's when those new behaviors create the new beliefs or the new beliefs ha have behaviors to back them up. That's when those new beliefs become entrenched into the person you are and become part of, instead of just being a seduction persona, your seduction persona and you actually start to merge where your seduction persona believes and it behaves and gets the results that you would want. Mm -hmm.